Hi, my name is Eddie Jackson Jr. and this is Real True Street Crime. And we fucking with that, uh, we gonna do that, uh, gelato mints, baby. That gelato mints. But let me tell y'all this, why I'm really fucked up with Black Butch. I want to be honest about this. I want the whole world and all of you to know why I'm really pissed off with Black Butch and why I'm fucked up with him. I was a five-year-old kid. Him and my father used to leave that house in Southfield. Them motherfuckers wouldn't come back for six motherfucking months. Then when they come back, they telling me about all the fantastic stories that they did and all the shit they did. Now he wants to say they lies. Because it looked like they might be worth some motherfucking money. He cared about every motherfucker feeling but mine. My father running around the fuck with him didn't see my baseball games because he gone for six months. He gone the whole fucking summer while I'm playing baseball. I seen him and Bush Lee together. But he don't give a fuck about my feelings. See, he too busy worrying about every motherfucking else body feeling. So let me tell you about my motherfucking feelings, Black Butch, so you'll finally fucking know. You left that fucking house in South with him, filled with him for six months. Come back talking all the places y'all been. I'm a little kid. I love it, but I ain't seen my goddamn daddy in six months. Nor has he seen one of my fucking baseball games. And I was the best baseball player on the team. You want to talk about pain? I lost my father in a motherfucking penitentiary cell, nigga. You want to talk about pain? I lost my father in a penitentiary cell. It seems like you motherfucking forgot. Oh, Eddie, baby, you don't care. What the fuck you care about me? I lost my father in a penitentiary cell. Tell me how many of the rest of the motherfuckers lost their fathers in a motherfucking penitentiary cell, nigga. Tell me that. How much motherfucking feelings do you have for me is exactly how much motherfucking feelings I got for you. Since you can't seem to remember from the motherfucking beginning to the motherfucking end, nigga. Remember when I was a kid, you was coming in there telling me all these motherfucking stories. Free and will. Eddie, baby, we did that, baby. All these goddamn stories I'm telling, you told me. Now you want to stand up there and say I'm lying. You a real piece of shit, Butch. Know that. You the same motherfucker running with my father, coming in that goddamn house. He been gone for six, seven months. Now, here come you with this bullshit. I lost my father on a funky-ass penitentiary. And here you come with this bullshit telling me about somebody else's fucking feelings. What the fuck about mine? Nigga, don't ever tell me that word again. Anybody you don't care about? Bitch, care about mine. I lost my father in a funky-ass penitentiary. You better start caring about my motherfucking feelings if you think I'm going to care about yours. Respect, game respect. They don't get to telling me about that and I lost my motherfucking father in a jail cell helping half the goddamn city of Detroit and the, the country out. So let's be clear about this shit. I got more of a right to tell these motherfucking stories than you because I lost out like, this motherfucking deal my father. So now you think you got more of a right to tell these motherfucking stories than me? Try it. I got stories about your ass you really don't think I know. But I know them, motherfucker. I know them all about all of y'all. So if you want to fuck with me, fuck with me if you want to. But you better think about my feelings. And I've been there through the whole motherfucking ride as a little kid. Now you're going to call a little motherfucking kid a liar. These memories come from a little kid. Now you standing up here as a roach ass nigga calling this little kid a liar. Who do y'all believe a kid or his lying ass? A kid gonna always tell you the truth. These humans lie all the goddamn time. Ask anybody. A kid gonna tell you the truth what he witnessed. What he lived. He gonna tell you that. These grown motherfuckers gonna exaggerate it to make themselves out to be what they wasn't. That's what they gonna do. But a little kid gonna tell you just how them niggas brought it to him when he was a little kid right there in the house. He act like he forget all that shit. Oh, uh, nigga, you don't remember all as long as Pops was gone? He ain't come home too motherfucking often, nigga. I got all them memories. Oh, I got them all. Don't think any of them is gone, bro. It ain't none of them gone about your fucking nose either. And the rest of your ass either. Take a handkerchief 
through your goddamn nose, have a seat, sit the fuck down, and think about what the fuck you're doing. Because you're calling a five-year-old kid a liar. And you wasn't even there for any of the Demetrius part after he got out of jail. You never met him, knew him, none of that. You are pep. Now you motherfuckers think you're going to tell the Eddie Jackson story? You sadly mistaken, you black son of a bitch, you. You sadly mistaken. And if you want to tangle with me, we going to tangle, motherfucker, as hard as you want to tangle. And goddamn it, we going to play rough and hard until you respect my goddamn loss and my motherfucking feelings. Don't tell me about no motherfucking body else's feelings. Say, Eddie, I respect your feelings, man. No, I lost you take helping all these niggas. Yo, you lost your dad and he helping everybody in the goddamn state of Michigan. I respect that, Eddie. You took it like a real man. You ain't never cried like a bitch and asked anything about not having your goddamn father. I'm running with your father more than me. I'm your, I'm your street son. So all that bullshit you talking, bro, you need to rethink it. Because if I come at you again, I'm going to come so motherfucking hard, bro, at your ass. You're going to be amazed at the shit I know. And I'm telling you that. So you better think about my feelings first. Damn, man, he lost his father. Damn, you know, that man did lose a lot to the game. Let me be honest, man. That man helped a lot of motherfuckers. That man lost a lot to the game. That man lost a lot to the game. And that man ain't bitching about it. None of that shit. He ain't bitching, crying. None of that bull ho shit y'all do. None of that whole ass shit y'all do. And y'all didn't have to bury that man. None of that whole shit. And I thank Courtney Brown Sr. again for taking care of that. I thank Courtney Brown Sr. again for taking care of that. And I have to always say that and give peace, love, and thanks to him. But I have to tell the motherfucking truth. Here's a motherfucker got one foot in and one foot out the grave. No goddamn well, he came out to the house with that bullshit for my whole fucking life. The whole goddamn eight-year run. Here they come in out the house telling me how they psyching Ryan Gear Valley. How about this one, Butch? Now, let me see how good my memory is. You tell me how good my fucking memory is. Ryan Gear Valley had jumped the fence at our house. He sneaks around to the patio. And he's got his head in the patio window looking in the house. Now, my father got video surveillance all around the house. He didn't see Ryan Gear Valley from the moment he hit that. He's seen Ryan give Valley his own surveillance, jump over there. He's at our family room window looking in the family room. So Joe Weaver leaves out of the house, go around there, come behind Ryan give Valley. Joe Weaver grabbed my cap pistol. He said, Eddie, give me your cap pistol because I used to keep cap pistols. Put the little red cap in there and make a pile. He said, put a cap in there for me. Give me a cap pistol. So Joe Weaver went out the front door. He went around, he, he did exactly what Ryan Gear Valley did. He jumped the fence and he walking right up. Ryan Valley, Gia Valley is looking in our family room window. He got his head to the window, looking in the window. Joe Weaver walk up right behind him and fire, pow, fire a cap pistol. Ryan Gear Valley jump, mo, go to reaching for his gun and shit. And Joe Weaver go to laughing like a motherfucker, man. These some silly motherfuckers, man. I remember all these stories, bro. You remember that one, Butch? When Ryan Gill Valley was Ryan there peeping in the family room window. And Joe Weaver went out the house and went around to the back with a cap gun. Ryan Gill Valley looked at Joe Weaver while like, pow! Ryan Gill Valley was so motherfucking. Yeah, you motherfuckers, you, you son of a bitches, you. You fucking niggas, you. You fucking niggas, you. Now, he know the whole house is on surveillance. So Pops the see <laughs> From the time he get on the fence and jump over the fence. Pops watching him. Joe, look at this motherfucker here, man. Look at this motherfucker. And Joe just tell him, Eddie, give me your cap pistol. I'm going to go out here and scare this some bitch. Ask Ryan Gill Valley if that ain't a true story. So as I say, Cash App, Eddie Baby 22. Subscribe, share, like, and thank you too. Ask Ryan Gill Valley if that ain't a true story too. So I'm out. Cash App, Eddie Baby 22. Subscribe, share, like, and thank you too. But I just had to come and say, Think about somebody else's feelings, too. Don't just think about their feelings. Don't look at me as if you, Eddie, baby, you don't care. Oh, I lost my father in jail, bro. You better reevaluate the shit you're saying. And I'm serious about that, Butch. I love my father as much as any motherfucker on this earth, man. You better know that. 
I love my father as much as any motherfucker on this earth, man. So you better reevaluate the shit you're saying and doing, man. I'm telling you. I love my father as much as anybody on this earth. And I was a five-year-old kid when you told me these stories, bro. So what you're doing is you're calling a five-year-old kid a liar. And that ain't right, bro. That shit ain't right, bro. I'm telling you right now, right here, as Kwame Kirkpatrick say right here, right now, that ain't right, bro. And everybody know a five-year-old kid going to tell you the truth. You, on the other hand, trying to glorify your goddamn self. So cash app, Eddie Baby 22 Subscribe, share, like, and thank you too. And stop over there on Spotify, Crime Town, Kingpin's Kids, and let Ryan Gear Valley tell you a few stories. I'm out. Peace and love, cash app, Eddie Baby 22 and what you think. This as well as they got feelings, I got feelings. We all got feelings. So don't think you the only one got a wife. Everybody got a wife. Everybody got feelings. Everybody got a son. Everybody got a daughter. You ain't the only one that got a son of a daughter. So if that's the case, carry yourself presentable for them. Don't do shit you don't want them not to know. Don't be a molester. And your son and daughter know you're a molester. Don't be a raper. And your son and daughter know you're a rapist. Don't do it. As Robert Blake say, don't do it. Understand. Peace out.